and then you have the southern Philippines was never conquered. Could have been a Dutch colony, could have been a French colony. They consider them too barbaric. That's what they say, but it means they couldn't be. So when you take this first century here like this and you smack it, see, sometimes the break, this is classic in most melee systems, see. But you come here, you see how I hold it here? And that's the locking procedure here like that, see. So you, that's the two that I'm going to work on right now. But they're not the only ones that you can use, because there's many different variations. Sometimes if you box this, then you won't be able to do those two techniques, then so you have to go into something else. All right, any questions? So this one works because when you go at that pack and you hit, that's on the Adam's apple, see? And you can use a foot or, or use it as a trip, see? And then you just step on the face, which I'm not going to do, see? You go like that. See, the first one, you just sort of hip up. See the hip up here? See how it comes down here? Comes back to that position and you fold it like that. Okay? And the other one is when you go around the head. Okay? The back here, one, two, you hit it. See? So you keep going. All right, so when you hit it this way, see? This one, you hold the position here, and it goes over like that. In reality, I would be tight, so it's a little harder. But over here, that gives a lot of space in case I make error. Like this. Okay, that's the, the two locking procedures, see? But if this would have come down like this, which it has come down before like that, see? You could pull it like that, see? This one will become the, the technique like that now, see? This, this one will, will be pointing. Okay. Any questions up, up to here? There's the three basics we're going to do. All right, you got it? Okay, let's just try it up there, Steve. He's going to help me this weekend, so. That's <laughs> one, see? I hit the hand. So when I hit here, I go pack, and this will cut, see? That's the first lock. See, the second lock is that. The third lock, we lift up. Go here. Okay. And then the fourth, if you want to go like this, there's the one, right? Isn't he usually right. done by then? Yeah. This is what they call lock flow. And if one fails, you go to the next one. See? It's not it's not men. A lot of people think it has to go A, B, C. There was a guy that somebody showed me something on the internet. It was so funny because they didn't fully understand, right? So the hoobah can't be used for fighting. Of course it can't be used for fighting. It's not used for fighting. It's a training method. Just like saying running can't be used for fighting. I think it can, though. Right. <laughs> 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 but the, what I'm trying to say is that that's a training method. Just like skip rope is a training method. See, the hoobah is a training method to enhance contact reflexes. Right. It's not meant to, so you use parts of it. Okay. So this, the lock flow, and you know, there's, there's not any difference according to Tuhan Gah, he's done extensive research in, in Madagascar, Malaysia, Indonesia, Northern Philippines, Southern Philippines, Central Philippines, he's done extensive work. He says there's no difference between Kuntao, in the Philippines that is, between first lot, Lankasalat, Pulat Salat, Penjab Salat from Indonesia, Dumog, he says the same thing. And I started thinking about that. He said, and if you understand the history, historically, it is true. And I used to think, I'm just, I'm taking me 20 years to figure that one out. <laughs> because, see, they were all one group at one time. And what, what happened was what they call the European expansion and the colonization of Southeast Asia. So when they came, you know, the Dutch took this, the English took this, the French took this. The French took uh, French Indochina, so that became uh, Vietnam. Cambodia, Laos, and Champa, or Annam, which is now called Vietnam, but in ancient days it was called Champa. Then you had the Dutch colonizing Malaysia and Burma, right? And then you had the, uh, the not the, at the English country, and then you had the Dutch colonizing Salivas, Borneo, Kalimantan, which is now called Indonesia. And then you had the Spanish taking over the northern Philippines. You had, you had that Thailand remained neutral. It didn't come under a European power because it had to be a buffer between the English, Dutch, and the French. But all three could go in there without fighting. And then you have the southern Philippines, which was never conquered. And there's two kingdoms in the southern Philippines. That's Sulu and Manila. They have never been conquered. The Dutch could have been a Dutch colony, could have been a French colony. Usually, in, they'll tell you that they, would, they consider them too barbaric. <laughs> That's what they say, but that means they couldn't beat them. That's, <laughs> very good. I so, so that's the only area that they're not They're very proud of that fact, see, that they've never been colonized. Even American occupation, I don't know if you know this, in our history, that's one of the longest fights. It was the first Vietnam that we had. It lasted from 1899 all the way to 1918, all the way to World War I. I mean, there was still fighting going on. Okay. But there was no CNNN in those days to, 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 to find out what was going on. So a lot of times it would be a, be a ship before they came out. So that, uh, 
a lot of the techniques, going back to the reason why it's so it's so similar because they were under one unit one time. Yeah, and then when then he broke off, you know, people went certain ways and did certain things certain at? ways. Okay, so but anyway, in this one here, when you do this, never uh, when you smack a hand, make sure you hit it so you smack it again. When you sit here, see this is it's like a muscle one here. Let's do very gently jump, you right? See, this is the first one. Okay. Then you switch it here, you go here. Now you can also drive it here like this, or you can also drive it in the same like this. If his leg is here, you shove this like that. See, you just take it like that. If you don't have to go through the whole routine. If you get through the first one, you'll see it's very, very efficient. Now, if you want to do it on the stick hand, that's on the empty hand, right? The, the first motion is here, see? And when you come over here, that's the ejection. It now gives you a lock here. And if you just take the first lock, you'll find out it's very, very efficient. If I lay down, it's more, it's more painful, like this. All right, any questions up here? You got it? Okay, I'm going to do it slow so you can see. This one is really, you can really whip it if you really do it. Because you see, your whole body, see, first is you hit it and then you hit it here and you hit it. Your whole body swing. Yeah, but I want you to do that, see. And any time it fails, see, it automatically comes here, see. Which now gives the motion here like that. Okay, you see what, what's, what's happening over here? There's, so there's always kind of a network. See? In life, if you have a good fighter, he makes that system popular. If you don't have a good fighter, that system will never become popular. So all you need is have one good fighter, and everybody will go to that system because they think it's the best. However, they, they might not look at the individual. In fact, it could be, he could have the crummiest instructor and the worst progression of any system, but he's a good fighter, everybody will travel. Philippines is a good example of that. If there's a good fighter, they go, yeah, let's go study under him, but he could be a terrible teacher. You know who has a lot of good fighters with terrible teachers? The Filipino martial arts. There isn't a progression. They go, okay, hit, bam! And I go, Jesus, I want to come here to learn and beat the heck out of you, see? <laughs> because there wasn't a progression. Because they were fighters and fighters. In boxing, the same way. I've been in my hometown, they go, hey, put on the gloves, come on. I go, yeah, sure. <laughs> but that's their mentality. So they, they, there was no step-by-step -step progression. So stick fighting is the same way. A lot of martial arts, and sometimes it, it, it's not the, you know, it's really not this, uh, the system or the instructor. Sometimes they just have a good guy and he makes it. Now, all these techniques, you have to make it work. My own student, Larry Paulson, you know, he fights a lot of no hole ball, but he's put his own wrinkles into this on, on, on the stick wrap, and it, and it works. Like, uh, he does this because he got the idea from LaBelle. See? He just hooks it, and right in the middle of the air, see, when you land like this, see, it's just like that. It's very, very painful to like that. He put this, but he actually will send the guy flying in the air. I mean, you're in the air, it's, you're, already, you're already tapping. See, but it's hard to do it here on the concrete. But the, the original way was like this, but Paulson changed it to this, because he got the idea from Gene LaBelle. Then he put it into the system, which he used, and it's very, very efficient. Okay, see what we're doing now? So if you go like this, see, and you go like that, taxi right here, see? So if I hook it like this, just the way Paulson does it, and I think it's really good, or you can do it the traditional way like Lacassin did it, and you can stand or kneel, see? See, or you can kneel here, or you can kneel on the ground if you're going to go to this one here. Because then they just drive it through here like that, elbow, see? And then take it, you Okay. And you can, that's on the stick hand. Okay. If you do it on this, there's many different ways to get into it. But it has to be fast. But once you go like that, see, you transfer here to the hand because this thing can, at all times can go here. And when you drop here, just take it to the first one like that. Like that. Any questions? Up to here. Got it? Okay, so, and if you take just one, then I think you, you'll learn it faster. Now you can do it like this, like traditionally, a lot of people do it like that. See? <laughs> My only question like is that. this, so does he always make them faces? Joe, Joe is a good stunt man. But, uh, can you, any questions here? See? This one, never go to this arm if that stick is there. <laughs> That's obvious, see? If your stick is there, don't do it, see? That means I have to destroy that hand. Pang, pang, see? Pang, pang, see? And then you went into this one like that, see? Now, if it doesn't go, that's when you go here. So you see how the arm is pulled up here? And you take it down like that, see? It's already here, see? Okay. And 
next position is here. See, the next position we walk to is here. You can, get, you can see the floor when you when you do it. All right. Any questions over here? <laughs> How do you got it? the transition when you uh, went after the stick? After the stick? You switched the grip. Okay. Sure you when, uh, I'll show you. I can show you seven ways. The bikini tertiary method is like this. There we go. See, that's the bikini tertiary method. See? The Costa system is almost the same. Well, that's two. If you only want one. So you're like that. Hang! See? And you go here. See? And you go here. So you take it out here. See? Or, you could go. You see the hand here like that? Hang! See? You can press it and you hit it here, see? Or, you can use this hand here, see? See how this hand already is already here? They're so very, very similar. And what it is it? You, you pick the one that you like and gravitate to the one you like. But the key is wedging that arm. Yeah, the, right? the key is when you come here, you see how tight I am already? See the tra do the transfer here? See what's already going to be here? See, I'm only behind on the lever. Plus the fact that it fails, so you have that one. Which gives you the analogy to see how the hat is going up. Many different ways that you can do it. And then he has counters too, which makes it very, very interesting. Any, any questions? So we just take the we just take the first one. You can take the first one, which like that one smash the hand, hit the body, go like that. See? When you make the switch over here, probably the easiest one is to go like that. See? Take it out like that. Or <laughs> so when I go like that, I go way on the head, see? So move here like that. See? This is, and you will pick the one you like. You know, we, we always grab a picture when you like. Right okay. Any, any questions? You got it? Okay, we just tried this for about four minutes, right?